Mathematics 2, Sample Examination 2018, Question 6a. Determine the following indefinite integrals. Part 1 is a polynomial and we can integrate this term by term. How, to do, how we do that is we take the first term, we raise the power of x by 1, so x squared becomes x cubed, and then we divide by the new power. So the first term becomes 5x cubed over 3. For the second term, we've got x to the 1, so we raise the power by 1, so that becomes x squared, and then we divide by the new power, so it becomes 2x squared over 2, or simply x squared. For the minus 3, imagine minus 3 is multiplied by x to the power of 0, which of course is 1. We increase the power by 1, so it becomes x, and we don't need to divide by 1, because that doesn't change things, so minus 3 becomes minus 3x and then we add the constant of integration. To check our answer, we'll just differentiate it and see we get back to the question. If we differentiate the first term, we're going to get 3 times 5x squared over 3. The 3's will cancel and we'll end up with 5x squared. If we differentiate x squared, we'll get 2x. If we differentiate minus 3x, we'll get minus 3. And if we differentiate a constant, that will disappear. So it looks as if our answer is right. Part 2. The integral of sine 3t minus 4. So the integral of sine is minus cos, and then we're going to divide by the differential of the linear factor in the bracket. So let's differentiate this to make sure we get back to the question. If we differentiate cos, we get minus sine. So if we differentiate minus cos, we're going to get sine. And then we multiply by the differential of the bracket, so we're going to multiply by 3, because the 4 will disappear. So then we're going to get 3 sine cos 3t minus 4 over 3. The 3s will cancel and we're back to the question. Part 3. We've got two factors of x here. There's 2x and there's e to the 2x. So we need to use a technique called integration by parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to let 2x equal u and we're going to let e to the 2x equal dv. So we're going to differentiate u, so we're going to get 2 du. We're going to integrate dv, so integrating e to the 2x, we get e to the 2x over 2. If we integrate du, we get 2x, so that's correct. And if we differentiate e to the 2x over 2, we get 2 e to the 2x over 2, and the 2s will cancel, so that's correct as well. So putting these into the equation for integration by parts, we get u v minus v du. So with a little bit of simplification, that becomes x e to the 2x minus e to the 2x dx. We can differentiate that directly. So we're going to get x e to the 2x minus e to the 2x over 2. We'll just tidy that up a little bit, and we get e to the 2x brackets x minus a half plus the constant of integration. And that's the end of part 3. Part 4. Again, we've got two factors of x, e to the minus x and cos 2x. So we're going to use integration by parts. We'll let e to the minus x equal u and cos 2x equal dv. We'll differentiate e to the minus x to get minus e to the minus x. And we'll integrate cos 2x to get sine 2x over 2. As a sanity check, we'll integrate du, we'll get minus minus e to the minus x, which is the same as u, and we'll differentiate sine 2x over 2 to give us 2 cos 2x over 2. The 2s will cancel and we'll get cos 2x. So that looks correct. So putting those values into the equation, we're going to get i is equal to e to the minus x sine 2x over 2 minus the integral of minus e to the minus x sine 2x over 2. I've got minus here and minus here, so they become a plus, And I've got a half here, so I'm taking a half outside the integral sign. And I'm saying I've got an integral i1, which is given by e to the minus x sine 2x dx. Now we still have two factors in x. I'm going to use the same technique for a second time. So let u1 equal e to the minus x, and let dv1 equal sine 2x. I'm going to differentiate this to get minus e to the minus x, and I'll integrate sine 2x to get minus cos 2x over 2. 
we'll integrate this and that gets us back to e to the minus x we'll differentiate this and we'll get minus 2 brackets minus cos 2x over 2 the minuses will cancel and the 2's will cancel and that will get us back to sine 2x so that's correct as well so now we can write i1 as minus e to the minus x cos 2x over 2 minus minus e to the minus x minus cos 2x over 2 those two minuses will cancel and I'll take the half outside the integral sign giving us a half e to the minus x cos 2x now notice that that is actually the same as our starting point so I can replace that by i so I've got minus half i so now we substitute this into equation 1 which is here i is equal to e to the minus x sine 2x over 2 we have a plus here but look we've got a minus and a minus so I'm taking a minus outside we have a half there which is there and then we've got e to the minus x cos 2x over 2 plus a half of i I've got a half here and a half here so I'm going to take e to the minus x over 4 outside of a bracket so now what I'm going to get is e to the minus 4 and this becomes 2 sine 2x this is the cos here so it's minus cos 2x and I've got half and a half there so I've got minus a quarter i I'll take that over to the left hand side so I get 5i over 4 I can cancel the 4s from both sides and then divide through by 5 giving me i is equal to e to the minus x over 5 2 sine 2x minus cos 2x plus the constant of integration and that's the end of part A